Hello friends, I'm your friend Chetan Bhola and you're watching Bhola Math Tech. So today in this video we are going to learn about Atkinson cycle engine. You might not have heard it about heard about it, but yes, it is a really interesting engine that is based out of the Atkinson cycle. So please keep watching this video. You're going to learn a lot of things about this engine and I'm sure you will be getting interested after watching this video. If you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please subscribe at this moment and don't forget to share this video with your friends. First of all, I want to tell you the main concept behind this whole engine is the compression stroke is less than the exhaust stroke. I, I just want to tell you the complete working of this engine. So here, this black line is the cylinder and uh, these valves, these uh, are the valves, this is the air fuel mixture and this is the piston. What happens is, during the intake stroke, the piston goes down from TDC to, BD, uh, to BDC, that is top dead center to the bottom dead center and inhale the whole of the gases, the swept volume uh, from, of the air fuel mixture from the inlet manifold and then starts compressing. But in the case of Atkinson cycle, what it does is, it keeps the intake valve open for some time while compressing the air fuel mixture. What happens is, let's say uh, this uh, this piston BDC is this and up to this position uh, the valve is open let's say so what will happen is this amount of the gases are going to exit from this uh, uh, intake valve and uh, only this amount of the gases will be present inside the engine and these this amount of gases are going to be compressed and then what will happen only this amount of gases uh, or the air fuel mixture is going to be compressed to the clearance volume. So in this way, this, uh, the volume intake is really less and the compressed volume or the uh, clearance volume is same as all of the engines. What will happen is the compression ratio is going to decrease. But uh, in this way, you have saved this amount of the fuel. What happens is when the spark plug spark ignition takes place, this fuel burns and it pushes the piston to the bottom dead center from the top dead center. What will happen is the whole amount of fuel is gonna pressurize the piston towards the downward direction, and uh, more consistently, more and more often, what will happen is this: the whole amount of the energy is utilized until and unless this uh, piston goes to the BDC. In normal, in normally, what is happening is uh, the whole amount of the uh, um, uh, amount of the swept volume is used and it is compressed to the clearance volume, and then the whole amount of this uh, gases are going to pressurize this piston in the downward direction. In that case, what happens is uh, this pushes the piston, but uh, even after the uh, piston has reached the BDC, there is some leftover energy of the combusted gases. But in case of the Atkinson cycle, what happens is the fuel uh, which is compressed is already less so the whole amount of the energy of this fuel is going to be used or utilized in pressurizing or pushing the piston from top dead center to the bottom dead center and then the exhaust valves open and the, all of the gases are taken out so you might have noticed the main difference the simple is the main difference difference is that the valve intake valve is opened for some time while compressing so that the the intake air fuel mixture can uh, some of the intake air fuel mixture can exit through that so that uh, the compression ratio can be decreased and then the uh, the whole process takes place now the main uh, uh, thing over here is this how to increase the timing of the intake valve it can be easily done by some uh, different using of different cam lobs uh, and shifting the cam or it might be done by some calibration with the uh, cam sh uh, crankshaft and the camshaft so this can be easily done now what are the advantages of using this Atkinson cycle the advantage is as simple as it reduces the charge you can see the uh, the charge is reduced and that redu the reduction in charge is the save uh, is the saving of that fuel now another thing is it it gives a clean burn because whole whole amount of the air fuel mixture present inside the combustion chamber is gonna burn completely because it is getting a proper time for the burning and another thing is it uh, decreases the detonation chances because the compression ratio has decreased so as the compression ratio decreases in a SI engine the chances of detonation decreases and another thing is longer power stroke because um, the whole amount of the 
uh, a whole amount of the air fuel mixture is going to burn so that's why uh, this power stroke will be longer than uh, than any other engine another point is the heat losses are really less because uh, uh, the whole amount of the energy that is there inside the engine due to the burning of the fuel is utilized just to push that piston from TDC to BDC. That's why it is more efficient than the autocycle engines. But there are several disadvantages of this engine also. It produces less power because uh, the fuel inside the combustion chamber is less. So that's why it will definitely produce less uh, power. But this reduction is in fuel must be uh, monitored like uh, about the load from the load of the car because if the load is more than that of the power generated then the, in, uh, then the engine will not run so another another difficult or the disadvantage of this is that there is some complex issue between uh, in just uh, changing the timing of this camshaft uh, because it will uh, increase some complexity now coming to the, the point that is compression stroke is less than the exhaust stroke you can easily see you can easily see the compression is taking place from this point not from the bdc from this medium point to the top dead center so this is uh, this this stroke is just for the compression but for the expansion stroke you can see the piston from the tdc goes to the bdc completely until and unless it reaches the bdc the exhaust will open so in that way the the exhaust stroke is longer than that of the compression stroke Whenever this kind of situation takes place, the engine is going to be having more efficiency. So, uh, because the compression stroke, uh, as low as the compression stroke will be, the, the, the less will be the air fuel mixture inside it and the less will be the uh, fuel consumption. So, and as, as long as the exhaust uh, stroke will be, the more utilization of the energy generated by the fuel will be taken away from the engine. So, in this way, it is a uh, good it is a really good relation that is provided by the Atkinson cycle engine. So I, I think you have learned a lot of things about the Atkinson cycle. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe it at this moment. If you like this video, please share it to your friends and do let me know if yes, you like this video by liking, hitting, uh, hitting the like button. You can also tell me what, what is the thing that you like in this video a lot. If you didn't like this video, please, please, please uh, click on that dislike button. Please, please, please let me know why how i can improve myself why you didn't like this video please let me know please share this video to your friends also so that they can also understand about the new and really nice concept about the atkinson cycle engine thanks for watching please keep watching keep sharing keep commenting and keep loving guys thanks a lot